Wow, it still hasn't melted. It's gotten a lot softer than before. Still like in one, still like one piece. It's crazy, look at that. It's almost like tofu. It didn't melt. Or cream cheese. Harajuku has lots of crazy shops and fun little stores. But while you stroll around, don't forget to enjoy the best sweets that Harajuku has to offer. We're at Takeshita Dori, and in today's video, we're gonna go and check out the coolest sweets in Harajuku. Let's go! There are so many fun sweets in Takeshita Dori and surrounding area, but in this video, I will show you my top 10. So let's start with Takeshita Dori. Takeshita Dori runs right in front of JR Harajuku Station up to Meiji Dori. There are two station exits, so make sure to take the Takeshita exit. Number 1. Calm Crate you can find this cute little crepe stand on a side street. People think of Marion Crepe as Harajuku's major crepe store, but Calm Crepe is the hottest crepe spot in Harajuku right now. There are many choices on the menu, but make sure to order the best of the best, the cream brulee crepe. Look at that, it's so cool. Look, they like flame broiled it just like a hamburger. So this one I'm excited about. This is a crepe, but it's like a flame broiled crepe, also known as a cream brulee. I don't know these words sometimes. It's like stuck to the paper. I guess it's meant to be that way. Wow. Well, it just melts in your mouth. It almost tastes like if you ever had s'mores roasted it over a fire. It tastes exactly like that. So like maybe like a roasted marshmallow. It's super good. Mm. I bet there's a lot of calories in this one. Number two, Toddy Candy Factory. Toddy Candy Factory's giant rainbow cotton candy is all over Instagram, so you might have already seen it. Here, you can also buy colorful candies and other cute sweets. It really smells like sugar in here, like lots of sugar. Well, check it out, there's like all different flavors. There's strawberry, there's melon, and the cool thing about this is takeout. You can actually bring this one home, but we're gonna get the stuff that you eat right now. Well, we have several different options here. We have a three color set, which is 600 yen, and then we have the 900 yen rainbow set. We're gonna get the 900 yen rainbow set. Super excited. Wow, look how big it is. So this could quite possibly be the largest cotton candy I've ever had. There's like six different flavors in here. I'm kind of excited to try this out. It's like all sticking to the bottom and it's like pulling actually the bottom here. Hopefully it stays. Mm. So I can taste the strawberry here. Let's try this part. Mm. There's like so many different flavors. It's really good. Oh my God. This is gonna be a long day. Number three, Beard Papa. Beard Papa is a cream puff chain store which has been around since 1999 and is still as good as ever. Check it out. They actually just drilled a hole in here and put the cream inside. It's super fresh. All right, let's try you out, Beard Papa. So this is not the actual original one but I wanted to try it out. It's the cookie version. So you can see, it's just like super, super light. It doesn't weigh a single thing. So Beard Papa, although it's like very popular here in Japan, there's actually some stores, I believe in the States as well. So when you live in the States, then definitely check it out where you can find it. All right, let's take the first bite. Mm, the cream is actually not so light as some of the other stuff. The outside is super, super crispy. And then the cream inside, this has a really strong vanilla taste. It's really good. It's a pretty thick cream. The bread is crunchy on the outside. It almost tastes like a pie crust. So good. Thanks, Beard Papa. Number four, Calbee. Kalbi is one of the largest snack makers in Japan. In this store, you can enjoy their fresh fried potato chips with different flavors as well as fresh made jagariko, which is one of the most popular snacks they make. We got so much food. So, check this out. Oh, well, this is the cheese flavor that they have, and I can feel it. It's like still hot as it came. Wow, it's like eating french fries. Usually when you get this, it's like hard and like crispy because you know, it's like a potato chip. But this is actually more like a french fry. And definitely you can taste the cheese flavor. It's really good. I'm really surprised. Mm. It's soft. We 
juicy Nicola. The store bought one, it's really crispy. This one's really soft. It's really good. Okay, so the second thing, let's try potato chips with chocolate on it. They've actually poured hot chocolate on here. It has that like Hershey Kiss flavor with potato chips. I think I can eat a few of these, but not a whole lot because I'm, I don't know, the combination of salty with chocolate, some people might like it. I'm not that much of a fan. I usually like this kind of stuff. Yeah? Mm. Potato chip itself is super good. The chocolate is pretty good. Just yeah. the combination is not so good. I'd rather eat it separately. And now let's try this. Check that out. It's squid ink potato chips. It's completely black. Mm. For me, it's kind of hard to taste the squid ink. I still taste the potato chips. Definitely a unique flavor. I don't taste it. No, I don't taste it at all. I'm usually like sensitive with squid ink. It's good though. But not like, oh my god, I gotta eat this all the time. It's still pretty good. I think the best out of all you do come here is to test out these uh, potato chips, these fries. They're so good. You can't stop eating them. Mm. So good. Number five, Kwakwant Chu Zaku Zaku. So if you can see, this is Zaku Zaku behind me. This is actually one of the places I'm really, really excited to go to. It's like a crispy outer bread shell with a creamy inside. Let's go see what's inside. Zaku Zaku describes the sound of a chunky crispiness in Japanese. Let's try this bad boy out. So it looks like a brown breaded, kind of like Rice Krispies. Almost. What was really interesting is how they actually filled this cream thing. See, what they do is they make the bread in advance and then they take like this little straw that just shoots this cream inside here. So they've actually creamed in my bread. <laughs> they've creamed in my... Mmm. Very sweet bread. And the cream, it's really light. I was expecting it to be really thick and creamy, but it's actually just when you eat it, it almost disappears. It's really like light, fluffy almost. So crispy. Mmm, it's really good. It's really, really crispy. It's like, it's like cornflakes. Cornflakes, cornflakes, cornflakes. This is like perfect for street food because it's not so heavy. Mm. And just next to Zaku Zaku, you will find this crazy ice cream shop. Number six, Kanazawa Ice. Wow. Ice cream. Check it out. We got the strawberry flavored bear and it got blueberry on top of it. Should be good. It's actually really cold. It's pretty cold. It's cold to the touch. So it says that up to 40 degrees, this thing won't melt even though it's cold. Apparently what they've done is they've been able to combine strawberry flavor, water, and oil together so that it actually doesn't melt. Pretty interesting. Gotta bite his head off first. It's interesting. It's almost like eating a cold marshmallow. It's sticky and look. It kind of melts. Not really though. Look, it's on my finger, but it's still staying pretty consistent. It's like not melting at all. I don't even know what to say anymore. My world has changed. My ice cream that doesn't melt. All right, so I'm actually really interested to see if this thing really melts. Current temperature in Tokyo is 28 degrees. We're gonna just like let this ice cream sit for a little bit. Let's see if what they say is actually true. It's only gonna be the half eaten version because I already had the other half because it was pretty good, but I wanted to do this test anyway. Kind of excited. I love doing these little tests. Wow, it still hasn't melted. It's gotten a lot softer than before. Still like in one, still like one piece. It's crazy, look at that. It's almost like tofu. It didn't melt. It's great. Or cream cheese. Now, we're leaving Takesadori and going a bit further up north, past all the beam stores. Number seven, milk. Milk is a whipped cream specialized store. All of the cakes are good, but you have to eat inside. So we're having their parfait, with milky soft served ice cream. Uh, 
As I'm asking. All right, so we got this soft cream, but what's different about this place is it's actually a homemade soft cream. It has tapioca balls. It has a homemade milk pudding. All of the milk came from Hokkaido. I'm kind of excited about this. Come on, let's taste this homemade milk pudding. Mmm, tastes really natural. Like it came from a cow. Mmm, so creamy. And like you can really taste the milk. Let's dig in and let's try to get some tapioca. Mm. So underneath you have the pudding. Mm. It's also very very milky. And you can taste the tapioca balls which gives it like really cool jelly consistency. Not as thick, quite light. The ice cream is thick, the pudding is kind of light. Jelly pudding balls kind of give So this behind me is Roll Ice Cream Factory. It's newly opened, so as you can see, there's a huge line of people. This is usually happens to a lot of places that open up in Japan. Once the word gets out, you get popular. There's just a huge line for weeks and weeks until business calms down. But in this video, we're gonna try to mainly focus on local sweets. So we're not gonna go venture out and do this because it's actually really popular in the world and it actually is from New York. Even though we're not gonna go to Roll Ice Cream over there, we're gonna go just right here to this place. Number eight, Anavan, the fluffiest boucher in Harajuku. Cream too. Chocolate. Really like how it comes in like these little like cutting plates. Pretty cool. We're gonna try it out. They had all sorts of flavors. They had plain, which is this. I had their chocolate. Oh yeah, look. There's a cute little store there. Mmm. The bread is nice and fluffy and the cream is super super creamy. If you've ever had a really amazing birthday cake, that's what it tastes like. Let's taste the chocolate. Mmm. That's good. Very like a chocolate mousse almost. Instead of like a chocolate where I was expecting kind of like a milk chocolate, it's more like a mousse. Oh no. We're rocking around trying to get sweets and someone put a sticker on this poor lady's back. Not very nice. Some people. Number nine, Pablo. Pablo offers the best freshly made cheesecake tarts. This is a tart matcha flavor and it's like a custard cake. Probably should take this off before you eat. Wow, it's so soft. I can just feel it, it's so soft. Hard shell, like a crumb shell. Mmm, that's like almost the sweetest thing I've tasted today. We've tasted a lot of stuff today and this is like by far the sweetest thing I've tasted. Definitely can taste the matcha. If you have a sweet tooth, like this would be the perfect place to go because it's like super sweet. And the creamy matcha flavor surrounded with the hard crust, very, very tasty. And let's taste the cheese tart. It's actually still fairly cold, like it's cold to the touch. So I guess it's been in the refrigerator for quite some time and I just brought it out. It's hard to put the fork through it as I cut through. Mmm, it's almost like a cream brulee. It feels like they've actually toasted or they flame broiled the top of the, the cake. This is super thick. It's very rich. Very, very rich. It's very delicious. Had a lot of sugar today, so we're getting there. So this, this matcha flavor is pretty good. Um, I've actually had the original one before. It's better than the matcha flavor. It's good, but if you ever do come here, I would recommend tasting the plain version of this or the regular version opposed to this matcha version. What I like most about this place is the name. It's kind of close to mine. Number 10, Torikara. Fried chicken stand that has a pretty unique way it serves their chicken. Plus, they have all sorts of sauces, which I love. Wow, look, look, it's fried chicken and it's colorful. It's amazing. We've had a lot of sweets today, but I really wanted to check this place out because it has a fried chicken and it's colorful. Look at that. I love fried chicken. I love colorful stuff. They put the two things I love and they put it together. It's amazing. It almost looks like fruity pebbles with fried chicken. Let's try this. Definitely fried chicken. It's an interesting taste because, you know, there's a fried chicken taste. It's very hot and like piping warm. What I found is that the breaded crumbs here 
it's almost like eating cereal with the fried chicken. So in fact, I, I think this is, it's kind of like a sembe coating, but it's not really sembe, it's like it's a family of sembe called arare. It's like a smaller, colorful cracker. And I think they've used that to bread this. It's kind of like an interesting taste. Um, yeah, like I said, worth a try. I don't know if I'll eat this every time down the line because I just love fried chicken normally, but definitely colorful fried chicken. You gotta love Japanese culture and ingenuity. Like creating all these superfoods, well, I don't know if it's a superfood per se, but just creating all these like unique flavors and tastes and concepts. Really love being in Japan because of this. If you like this video, hit that like button. It really helps me out. Also, let me know which your favorite treat was, which one you want to try in the comments section below. I'd really like to hear from you guys. If you want to see more adventures of myself in Tokyo or throughout Japan, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.